brand new cherry flavor. As opposed to terrible old strawberry flavor. <laughs> Um, I have to thank my very dear friend Blaze Shazby Khan, who actually WhatsApped me and said, Sonia, you need to see this thing, <laughs> this, this thing on TV, it's amazing. Um, and it's a Netflix series. It's a Netflix series and um, yes, she's right, it, it really is, it was fantastic. We basically binged it. Yeah, well, we binged it. We, Conservatively, we didn't yeah, we watch them all in one go. We stopped ourselves purposefully, but I, I think if we lacked just a slight little bit of discipline, we would have. Um, yeah, we did like an episode a night, some yes, sometimes two. Two, yes. Um, yeah, it's based on the book by Todd Grimson. Set in the nineties, mm. like everything used to be set in the eighties. Now yeah, the eighties is old the, hat. The eighties are now starting to slip away. Now everything nineties are yes. coming in. Like with uh, Fear Street, they did the 94 yes. one as well. But then it had 78s as well, so maybe 70s also. Maybe. It's just in that case. But yeah, so the, the 90s are now far enough in the rearview mirror to start becoming yes. nostalgic. Yes, yes. Um, it's, it's an interesting, yes. interesting concept, this. Um, it was created by Nick and Tosca and Lenore Zion. Zion. Yeah. I didn't know it was based on a book, it just seemed like just another series. So I'm interested yes. to know what, how the book was handling this whole thing. We'd love to have read the book. Because yeah. it basically boils down to this um, uh, young, sort of uh, aspiring, young aspiring director, Lisa Nova. She goes to Hollywood with a short film that she made because people are, it's quite a buzz about that. And she's got this meeting with this mm. big producer, but he's kind of... He's in a little bit of a lull in his career. Bit of a decline, yeah. yeah. The Lisa Nova character is played by Rosa Salazar. Another part that I thought... Um, every single time we watch, <laughs> every time the episode starts, I think they probably try to get Aubrey Plaza, but they couldn't get her for because, this. Because again, it, it, it is a role that Aubrey Plaza could have played mm. very well. But th they look very similar. Yes, so. yes. And Catherine Keener is also in a very interesting role. Yes. I've always liked her. Yes. Um, so, it just goes in so many bizarre directions. It seems very straightforward on the surface. Yes. And then it just... It just <laughs> completely, it takes you by surprise. It, mm. it really does. Because it starts off with her traveling to Los Angeles and she's, she literally only has her, um, her little short film. And no money, she sleeps in her car. She's got a friend that she goes and she couch surfs there by Ex the friend. It's the ex-boyfriend? Yeah, it's the ex-boyfriend. Mm and sort of really sort of down on her luck. She is originally from, um, from Brazil. Brazil. And um, she's got this very cool short film that she made. But there's also a story with the short film. Yeah, that we lots of, there are lots of layers that pop in. And yes, as... that's nice to discover as you go. Mm. Um, long story short, again, we sort of, we, we, we again have this theme of the treatment of women in the film industry mm. and this movie really sort of has that as a central theme I would I would say yeah and um, and again I want to say like super female gaze big time and another thing that I appreciated was it's a it, it ends up being a revenge yeah many many unexpected turns. Yes. I mean everything from witches to zombies, mm. but like not the kind of zombies that you think. Not your strange, yeah. weird, weird stuff. Curses. Some scary, um, some really, truly, truly scary dark shit mm. as well. Um, and there's some kind of David Lynch vibe sometimes. Yes. Um, yes. They definitely which is, which is never, which is never bad unless it's blatant attempt at ripping it off. But it but doesn't it wasn't. Feel like that, it so. wasn't. It just had sort of a, a tinge of, yeah, of, of David Lynch. There's some violence. There's some murder. There's some strange, strange shit. And it's all set against this glamorous Hollywood background. Yeah. Um, so it's quite a, and it's quite a. It's quite a contrast between the actual, the, the, the guy that's the director that pays attention to her when producer. she... Producer. Oh, sorry, producer. Mm. 
that pays a lot of attention to her and sort of starts off mentoring her. And he is this, well, you know, he's made it and he lives in this mansion and it's she connected. She basically he sleeps can get, in a car. It's he can a, he can get the money people to yes. help her with her career yes. and but then as things seem to go nicely, they all of a sudden go pew. Yeah. My only critique for this series is that towards the end I expected more. Mm. Mm. Yeah. The f last episode, it wasn't it wasn't a satisfactory enough no. finale for me. But other people oh, might but, not but think everything that. leading up yeah. to that, it's it's good enough. Brilliant, no, really brilliant. And you sort of watching an episode, you sort of you can't wait to see the next episode because it's such weird shit. It's yeah, no, so weird shit. Yes. So, sometimes Sonny said, just make sure that we're going to watch an episode tonight. <laughs> <laughs> not, not, don't skip. Yeah, we can't skip. Um, so. It was something to look forward to, to watch. So, mm. glad we watched it. Also, cool thing about it is because you didn't know what to expect every time. So, no. it, was, it was very, very unpredictable. And the, the name of the series says absolutely nothing about the story. Well, it could be that she's a... A new talent coming in there mm. and sort of a flavor that can just as easily get dumped if they if you don't play the game i, I guess know. yeah okay in that in that sense yes. i, I didn't it's i haven't thought it, i haven't thought about analyzed it but i'm sure there's something behind it yes yes they probably mentioned something like that down the line there yeah then again i don't know what the book how much how, how closely the the creators of the series yeah. stuck to the book the casting was well done it was brilliant i, I no one not one character felt like they were out of place for me. They all felt mm. authentic and the right person for the role. Mm. Uh, the the where it's set and where she ends up living. <laughs> also, one of she's she lives in this apartment. And it's kind of no one else in this yes in this block, and it reminded me a lot of well, completely irrelevant, but she, there's this plant that starts growing mm. all over the place mm. it reminded me a bit of uh, the first troll movie yes. where this <laughs> apartment turn gets turned into this, this yeah. fairy tale uh, land with mm. trolls and stuff living there yeah. but yeah it doesn't go that far but it, it does sort of it does add a little mm. more weirdness to the already craziness that you experience watching this so yeah and there's like a kind of a romantic interest this successful actor yeah. that she gets involved with yes. who's also connected with this producer yeah um but yeah it's a it's very well worth watching if there's some, Absolutely. There's some hectic scenes some stuff might freak and creep some people out mm. but if I you can handle that me i'm like a, the, a kind of person that i believe that animals should be kept completely out of um any sort of film. Yeah, the animals in this is very freaking bizarre. But it's quite bizarre and it's and it's it's was it Cat related. It wasn't upsetting. It was just so bizarre. Mm. Very bizarre. Um, All you can say is it involves cats. Yes. <laughs> Several cats. Several cats. Constant cats. Yes. <laughs> so if you've seen it you'll know what you're talking about. Yes. If you haven't, yeah. Yeah. It's it's not something that I've seen before. No. No, or thought of. <laughs> yeah, so it's quite a, it's quite far out and interesting it and so far and ref out. Re refreshingly different. Mm. Yes, I really enjoyed it. I yeah. I loved watching it. It was good. But basically, to say, just if you have Netflix, check it out. Yes. Um, score wise, solid seven. Okay, yeah, same mm. here. Yes. I was thinking, in an eight direction, but. If, if I, let me put it this way, it's not if, as good as Twin if Peaks. If, if I would give Twin Peaks a nine, I can't give this an eight. If, you know if what I'm this saying? ended s stronger, that's one thing. Yeah, um, it, it could have it mm. could have maybe headed to an eight, but no, yeah. definitely a seven, okay, a solid no. seven. Yeah, so seven's mm. seven's good. We're not dangling around the four area, so that's good. <laughs> no. We've had a couple of four, four and a half, so yeah, no, it's a it's a cool series. Yes. So watch it, Netflix. Let us know if you enjoyed it, if you didn't. 
yeah, give us suggestions. Anything else we should check out? Tell us what you want us to review. If there's something that you think we should look for and find and review, let us know something that's a little bit more off-center. Mm. Yeah, like, we'll, subscribe. We'll, yeah, like, subscribe as always. And we'll also, we'll get to the the classics and stuff yes, as well. So it's we will, we will. Down the line, we only have that much time in the day. Yes. We'll see you in the next one. Cool. Cheers. Bye.